All right, team, let's get started here. So we gotta go for four minutes, eight rounds of 15 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest here, starting with the back extension. Come down on the floor, hands behind your head here. You don't have to cross them, just kinda let them sit in the back of your head. Three, two, one, and let's go. Up and back. So make sure you don't hyperextend your neck. Just pretend you're holding an apple between your chin and your chest. Small pulses and time. You'll really feel this one in your neck, in your, uh, in your lower back. 15 seconds rest, and that's when you're gonna go from plank, plank to alternating toe taps. Plank on your elbows here, and back and forth on the toe tap. If you're choosing, the option with a plank on your hands, make sure your shoulders are right above your hands. I am well done. If you wanted to add resistance, you could always put a band here on your ankles and use a, a rubber band to, uh, to add some resistance. It's always a nice add-on if you'd like to. Two, one, back to the extensions. Nice, always slow, controlled movements. Nice little pulses, you don't need to go too high. You'll feel the tension up in your back. All right, back with the plank, the toe tap. Always make sure that core is nice and tight. You don't wanna have your hips too high. Nice. When you're at that plank position, you'll really feel your core is nice and tight, your glutes are engaged. Feel that resistance. Back to the extensions. Great. Back to the plank. Well done. Last round here. One more to go. job. That was a nice little workout here. Very short and sweet. Straight to the point. So if you're finished for your programming for today, well done. Keep it up. If not, here are my playlists for the upper body and the lower body. And also at the top are my two recommendations for your next workout. All right, we'll see you soon. Cheers.